Welcome to Take Two, the podcast with the Rock 95 Morning Crew. I'm Craig. Brian's over there. MJ's sitting there. We're here. We're alive. Um, how many different types of rage is there? We've got road rage. Mm. Yeah. Um, Food rage? Is that a thing? I think it may be grocery rage this time of the Hungry. Hangry. 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 Absolutely. And I've had that many times. Yeah. Uh, We're going to talk about dental rage Mm. today. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. But I guess it could be. Is it pain rage? Maybe. Have you ever been in pain and you're just so mad about it? I've been sick and been mad about it. Oh, yeah. Or maybe it's just... You ever heard a woman giving birth? It's... (laughs) (laughs) That's all of those put together, actually. (laughs) Or maybe maybe it's just you're going to a place that nobody wants to go to. Nobody's enjoying the dentist, unless you have a crush on your dentist or something. (laughs) Right? Got a big dreamy or something going on. So you're already in a a bit of a foul mood. Mm -hmm. And they're about to get you in an uncomfortable position and they're about to do some work on you and you just don't want to be there. And maybe it'll cost you some money too. Uh, your your husband yeah. has now shown dental rage to a new level. <laughs> to a new level. And <laughs> the funny thing is it's, it's come over on me because I'm, I've never had issues with a dentist. I've always actually liked going to the dentist. Yeah. I got great teeth. Blessed with them. So I've never had an issue. I've always liked the dentist, but now I'm raging for him. And uh, they know you're married. Uh, yeah. 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 So you're written yeah. down in their book. I'm, I'm right. They are on, star next to you. They are on my list that you don't want to be on. There's a few teeth out there that you're going to magically get pulled and you don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Started a couple of uh, weeks ago. So my husband started dealing with um, a pain right in the in the back of his mouth and uh, he's like i really i got to go to the dentist which is weird for him to say because he tries to avoid the metal cost but he had actually gone the month before for a routine checkup x-rays all those things so he started feeling a pain and he uh it, it escalated so we get to it's it's a monday and it's in the morning and he's like I don't have my dent appointment till the evening, but I'm going to go right now. Wait in the waiting room if they can slip me in. That's great. Cause that's uh, serious pain. I'm in a lot. That is serious pain. And so he waits a while and he's able to go in. And the dentist says, so my husband actually has two BAB teeth, one on each side on the bottom right. that never came out. Right? It's like a baby tooth stuck he, in the he middle. He still has baby teeth. Yeah, he's still baby So when he teeth. loses them, is a tooth fairy coming? Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the dentist looks at it and thinks... This must be the issue. It's it, it's impacted. Right. Your baby tooth is impacted. We got to pull it out. My husband, in so much pain, just make the pain stop. He's like, okay. Yanks the tooth. Uh, doesn't give him any medication. Doesn't really numb him up. or, or Numbed him up, sure. But, um, you know, be on your merry way. Well, when I was a baby, I never had any of that when I was born. <laughs> exactly, <yeah. laughs> just, just, just deal with it, right? Yeah. Uh, so we fast forward to the next day and things are not better. In fact, they are worse. And we're calling around uh, to different dentists because at this point, my husband's like, I don't think this guy did the right thing. Pulled the um, wrong teeth? Pulled, maybe that wasn't the issue. Maybe uh, the baby tooth wasn't the issue. Okay. Who knows? Um, then he goes back to the dentist and uh, they get into a fight because... Uh, Put him up. They, they, <laughs> it, it's flat out rage issues, right? right. And he's like, I, you didn't do an x-ray? And he's like, yes, we did. And then he pulls up the x-ray. He's like, she, see, here's the x-ray. He's like, look at the date, doc. That was from last month. He's like, oh. We didn't do an x-ray. Um, and he's just, you know, so my husband gets a little up, but he's like, I-, I need you to look at this thing because I'm in a lot of pain. He's like, it'll pass. It'll pass. You just had a tooth yanked. It'll pass. He's like, whatever. Just telling you to walk it off. Just the telling doctor's you, advice there. It essentially felt like that, like a walk right. it off type thing. Did eventually <laughs> prescribe him some Tylenol 3s. So uh, let, me, let, let me interrupt for a second. Sure. First of all, how, how is he talking at this point? Is he is he still got a little bit of uh, pain and is he slurring? Uh, no, he's not slurring. Like he's, he's not, not like I'm in pain because I mean, like, that would be pretty amusing for a dentist. Maybe <laughs> holding his jaw. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Can't you see? <laughs> I'm sure it's pain. Fast forward another day later, and my husband is in agony, uh-huh. and he's like, "It's like nothing he's ever experienced before," and to the point that I called him an Uber. I, and he's, and he's, he's trying to be a man, right? He's like, I just have to tough this out. No, tooth pain's I'm the like, worst. It it's the terrible. Worst. He is crawling on the floor, practically. Yeah. I called an Uber. I essentially just threw him into the car, into the Uber vehicle, and I'm like, just go to the emergency room. Uh, Uber turned around, and meanwhile, this I guess this Uber driver was super concerned about him. But huh. he wound up going back to the dentist, and he's 
just dying and at one point the hygienist is rubbing his back because she's like it's okay oh and goodness. so him and this dentist are talking over their previous you arguments huh? <laughs> you have really fun sunglasses you can put on <laughs> so would you like the pink ones yeah. or the purple ones he's getting a baby tooth extracted <laughs> oh man no you already got that one done you can't take any more baby teeth uh, long and short of it after the dentist they had this other exchange he's like dude I was angry I'm in pain and I'm sorry if I offended you, but I need you to look back in my mouth and figure out what's going on. Because it's obviously not a normal he thing. He knew he had to apologize. Well, yeah. yeah, because you're about to be and so vulnerable <laughs> as well. Yes. Now lay down and open wide. Exactly. Oh. And it's funny because he shouldn't have been the one apologizing because in the end, the baby tooth wasn't the problem. Wasn't it? it he needed a root canal oh, he did. on oh. another tooth. Oh. Can they put it back, the baby tooth? They can't put it no. back. <laughs> <laughs> so he lost it. And I'm just telling you this. So at the end of everything, my the dentist goes to my husband and he says, that is the longest, hardest, and deepest root canal I've ever had to oh, do. Really? So then my husband tells me this. I'm like, baby, I am so sorry. I've never said anything to you that revolved the words longest, hardest, and deepest. <laughs> <laughs> did, well played. Thank you. Uh, did, did the uh, dentist apologize nope. to... He didn't, huh? Because no. I thought that would have been a nice moment. Because he kind of seems like he needed to. Yeah. And, and your husband did the right thing and apologized. And, and they could have hugged it out. And the they dentist could have hugged it out. They could have yeah. hugged it out. The dentist did later say, he's like, I, I have been told I come across as harsh. Uh, and he's like, uh-huh. That's his way of apologizing. That's yeah, his way of apologizing. People that are, that are harsh don't apologize for being harsh. The they just, they, they just admit excuse. it. They're yeah. just like, I'm harsh. I'm harsh. Forgive me for it. And I was wrong. Yeah. He kind of admitted that. Because we do expect a doctor to be right. Yeah. And they're not always. You know what I mean? They're Going not. through their methods to try, and yeah, you had a baby tooth in your mouth. It's not crazy to be like, well, this comes out on everyone else, right. so this yeah. could be. An so issue. maybe this could be it. So maybe when he comes back twenty four hours in just as much, if not more, pain, be like, maybe we should have another look at this. Yeah. Or you know, as opposed to saying, no, we took an X ray. Oh, yeah, was there any point of this whole exchange where he was in so much pain, your husband, and mm-hmm. you went, well, I'll call. And oh, you yeah. were like, I'm going to be oh, the person. Oh, Nelly. I was about to go down there and be like, and like I said before, I, I'm actually a very nice person. And when it comes to customer service, I'm like, you know, I try and understand. And I like dentists. Don't get me wrong. I've always liked them. You're not but, an anti-dentite? I'm the opposite. <laughs> Clear that up, Nelly. With this guy, I'm like, oh, I am seething at the mouth. <laughs> Did you- and normally, I'm like... Normally, I take the dentist side. My husband would be like, "They said this." I'm like, "Yeah, well, you should have listened to them." But your husband, your husband definitely didn't want to go again, though, right? Like he was uh, like, "No, he's, he's got some." And oh, and in the end of all this, uh, he maxed out all of his benefits, so we're done for the rest of the year. Ah, uh, no, everybody else suffers. Plus, <laughs> an, ex- plus an extra eight hundred bucks. So oh, that's my where goodness. all of this is going, <laughs> folks. So yeah, well, go. I got the dentist on Friday. Oh, okay. Well, Great. don't let them pull anything. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to Craigslist coming up in a moment. Craigslist. All right, let's get some uh, trending topics for the week in here. Uh, we have a new bird, Barry Bird. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. I love this punky little guy. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. They've been doing this for a while. They've been trying to get Barry a new bird for whatever oh, well, they reason. They had to get rid of the old bird. <laughs> <laughs> Did they? What happened? Did it go What happened? Yeah, the dodo bird. Just you know, it seems a little outdated. Uh, so now we got ourselves a, a belted kingfisher. Right, which is a cool name, mm-hmm. and if you look it up, it's a cool bird. Yeah, well, I mean, MJ thinks it's more cute than I do. Really? I think it looks like a bird that's been on a bender and could use an ice pack on his head, and, you know. That's funny. It's funny. It's funny. I don't know if it's cute. He looks oh. like, really, am I allowed to use the word spaz? He looks pretty spazzy. Yeah, ah! he's got hair everywhere. He's like, what? Did yeah. you say my name? Yeah. What's going on? And it's got a blue jay, kind of a blue jay tinge to it, right? Yeah. So, uh, just a little bit about this bird. It spends most of its time searching for small fish, which probably most birds do, uh, and then it it hangs around streams, rivers, ponds. If you have a picture of this bird, perhaps if, if you're like a bird watcher and you take pictures and you have one, they want it at the city because they want to make some promotional materials and some marketing stuff. So They'll probably get a lot of people here into Barry, right? Yeah. <laughs> Our bird. <laughs> Bring him in with that. <laughs> okay, congrats, Barry. We have, uh, we have made the top ten in debt. So this is... Uh, 
we've been ranked, I guess, number one in Canada, not just Ontario, with credit card debt and how much we have. Oh, that's tough. Mm-hmm. On average, uh, a, a person from Barrie has $3,521.54 of credit card debt. Oh, my. Uh, number two is St. John's and then Toronto, which you would think would be number one. No, nope, they're, uh, they're number three. No, they're not doing much better, but they're not, no, they're not. They're not. <laughs> That's so. not good for us. Yeah. Would well, you just say three thousand five hundred on average? On average. So, yeah. but I mean, some people have way more than that. So they're thinking the person has like fifteen thousand, like three thousand. That's not so bad. There are people that have yeah. fifteen thousand. There are people that have none. On average, it works out to three thousand. <laughs> Uh, there's a portal in New York City. You guys seen this? Yeah, it's this pretty cool. Great. It is pretty cool. This is something I would love to see around the world. So you look into it, and you could see Dublin in this particular one in New York City from across, and they can see you. So it's like a little in real time. Yeah, it's live. Yeah. It's like a Skype, right? Like yeah, <laughs> like a webcam. When it's set up there, it's a little tourist attraction there. You wave to them, they wave to you. That's what should happen. That's not what's happening though. People are getting unruly with their behavior mm-hmm. uh, to the point where they've shut it down. You can't have nice things if you can't keep your boobs in. No. (laughs) Or other things in, for that matter. And that's what's been happening. People have been showing off their posterior, Mm -hmm. their glutes. Raise the posterior. I mean, there's no sign that says don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think people are going to do? Do you think like two people are going to get into a fight? It's like, yeah, why don't you come through this glass and tell me that? (laughs) I don't think think there's any audio. There's no audio. It's just There's yeah. No audio. Oh, they no. can't. They just can't video. hear you. That's why people are holding up signs. Uh. Um, there's. There was signs saying "Show us nudes," so people are actually looking for this. <laughs> this is a way. This is like the internet from like 1999. Where do I get nudes? Listen to Craig, Brian, and MJ, the Rock 95 Morning Crew on Barry's Rock Station, Rock 95.